so hello friends now we will learn how to calculate weighted average cost of capital ok so weighted average cost of capital if you want to calculate weighted average cost of capital you have to uh, you need you need certain values of the data so from um, to calculate weighted average cost of capital so I have listed few items here and I have created a template for calculation of weighted average cost of capital this one is a bit uh, a bit tough compared to calculation of NPV and IRR using Excel functions. So here I have taken the data that I have put here is of the financial data of oil and natural gas corporation. Okay, I have taken the um, taken the data from Yahoo Finance. So uh, you can also do that. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. So you go to you you can take any company. I, for example, I have I have for in this example, I have taken the data, financial data of ONGC, but you can take in the financial data of any company. Okay, so how will, how you will get the financial data? Okay, I'll show you. You just type Yahoo Finance. Okay, Yahoo Finance page will open. So after that, you write uh, write the name, uh, write the company's name ONGC. You can write any company's name. So click on search bar. So the ONGC company will open. So next go to financials. Financials. So next, next year we will get the um, get the financial data of the year 2022 first quarter. It is the data is I have used of the first quarter of ONGC. So here the items that we need is interest expense. So if we see here the interest expense, we'll see that. When we come to the head operating expense, if you click it, so it will uh, no. net operating expense. Okay, so here we'll have two items. We can see we have two items: interest expense, non-operating. So, so interest expense, this figure we'll have to take 42, 42, uh, mm, 42, 836, 830. So I have taken this value from there. Next thing that what we need is total debt so total debt is a the company how much debt it has uh, debt capital it has borrowed from market that thing will go uh, will get the data from balance sheet so now we'll click on balance sheet so we can here we can see that uh, total debt so here the ONGC total debt is 12198586000 so i have taken the data from here to total debt okay so now what we will have to do we have to just divide this interest expense by total debt. So interest expense is if we click on this cell, the cell number will appear slash slash for divide we use slash this one. So after that we will have to just press enter. So we are getting the cost of debt is four percent. Okay. So next item what we need is income tax expense. So that is also we can also we can find from here. So here you can see again we will have to go to uh, income statement. In income statement you can see the tax provision. Okay, pre-tax income. So um, no, tax provision we can see that. So tax provision is for four seven nine seven zero four five zero. So I have taken this figure from uh, from this balance sheet four seven nine seven zero four five zero. Next, what item what we need is income tax, income before tax. So income before tax, we can see here it is given pre-tax income, which stands for, which means that income before tax. And this is the income before levying income tax. So the income is, the figure is 5409110. Okay, so I have taken that figure. Now what we will have to do, we have to calculate the effective tax rate. So effective to calculate the effective tax rate again, we will have to divide inter income tax expense divided by income before tax. So if you if you if you if you try to if you try to calculate, you just have to begin with equal. Then select this cell slash divided by this cell. Then enter. So we'll get the percentage. The percentage is 34. Now the next item what we need is cost of debt after tax. So for that, what to calculate that? We will we'll have to uh, use one formula that is
this one into cos of that into parenthesis open 1 minus this value so we are getting the value of cos of that after doing that is 2 percent so i'll show it once again how to calculate cost of that equal to equal to 4 percent into bracket open 1 minus 1 minus effective tax rate parenthesis close then enter so we are getting the value of cost of debt after tax is 2 percent okay so all these figures i have taken it from ondc i yahoo ondc or uh, this from the balance sheet of ondc you can take any company and you can use yahoo finance to collect the financial data or any um, or also you can uh, take the help of another website that is moneycontrol.com in moneycontrol.com also you will find all the financial data of every company or you can also visit nsc's website in nsc's website also you will find this financial data so it is freely available you mean you can access it freely so next what we will have to uh, find is that cost of equity risk free rate of return to find out the risk free rate of return you will have to go to markets in the markets markets section You will have to, uh, you can go to the market section. US Treasury bond. If you go to US Treasury bond, okay. Mm, in the market section, you'll have to go to US Treasury bond. So here we can see that for last 10 years, the US, uh, US Treasury bond value or risk free rate of return is 3.670. Okay. So I have taken the risk free rate of return as 4%, rounded off. Okay, the exactly I have taken as 4%. Okay, so 4% is the value. If you enter it, it will be. Four percent. Okay, so beta. So your beta value you'll get it from this uh, again you will got to go to the when when this is website. ONGC. So if you click on summary, you will get the beta value. So beta value is here is 0.83. Beta value represents the volatility. Okay, volatility in the stock. Okay, so beta value is 0.83. Okay, then the next is market return. Market return is also known as expected rate of return. Okay, what how much um, return we are expecting from the investment? So for instance, I have taken nine percent as a market return. You can take any value. Okay. So next thing, what we will have to calculate is cost of equity. So the cost of equity, the formula is um, is um, like this. Yes, this. Bracket close minus minus this okay into into 
G8 this minus this you'll have to use a bracket minus this L10 then into this minus Okay, so I'll also it once again. L nine. Then we'll open the bracket. Then we will minus the requisite. Okay, enter. So to calculate the cost of equity, what we'll have to do, we'll have to begin we'll open the parenthesis. Okay, equal, equal, equal to this plus beta beta into bracket so open. Now we'll have to deduct from market return minus the period of return okay then okay then we will just enter then we will get the equity as one percent so this is this is the formula and we are getting it as one percent so most of it is one percent Now we will have to calculate, we have to find out the total depth, so total depth I have already used here, so we will just copy paste here total depth, okay. Next thing what we, we need is market capitalization, so market capitalization will again go, up to, uh, go to the summary, and here we will find the market cap here is given as 1.806 trillion, okay. So here we will uh, add the zeros with them, now again next thing what we will need is total total of debt and market population for that we will have to use we will have to calculate we will have to add this one this value with this value and press enter we will get the mark uh, we will get the total uh, debt debt plus market population okay now we will have to find out the weight of debt and equity to find out the debt weight of debt and equity we will have to um, divide this value with with this value then press enter we will get the um, value is of Similarly, we will have to find out the weight of market capitalization. So, to find out that, we have to select the cell with this one and press enter. We will get the weight of debt in equity. Now, the final step is how to calculate the, um, how to calculate this with 
the weighted average cost of capital. So to find to calculate the weighted average cost of capital, we have to do what? We have to um, use this value into into this value bracket close plus this value into this value bracket close okay now we are getting the per the weighted average cost of capital is 43 percent so this is how you will have to calculate i'll show you you can uh, if you're not understood you can uh, uh, you can replay the video again and again okay